Hey everyone, this is Will. I'm super excited in this tutorial to show you how you can control your PTZ Optics camera using ProPresenter. Now, if you are doing any sort of lyric display whatsoever, then you're likely very familiar with ProPresenter. It's most commonly used in houses of worship and in churches to display lyrics for a congregation to sing along with. Now, I was really excited when I saw the PTZ Optics team release this brand new MIDI control option because I thought, particularly for houses of worship, how amazing would it be to get access to your PTZ Optics camera directly from ProPresenter? So as you're doing lyrics, as you're putting lyrics up on the screen for the congregation to sing along, you could control presets on your PTZ Optics camera so that folks watching at home, watching the live stream, uh, the camera can move around as the pastor comes on stage, as uh, different speakers are coming on stage, different songs as people are leading different songs, the camera can move based on the song you're on and the specific slide. But then not even that, imagine you're in rehearsal, you're, you're prepping for service to start uh, and you need to get the camera in place and none of your presets seem to be working. You could control your PTZ Optics camera directly from ProPresenter, give your volunteers access to that without having to give them access to uh, a, a remote to some sort of other interface. So in this video, I wanna talk about everything we need to make this happen, show you from zero all the way to completion how to implement this. So first, let's talk about what do we need. I am using a Mac computer. ProPresenter works on Mac or PC, but I'm using a Mac computer and I'm using ProPresenter 7, uh, the most recent version of ProPresenter. So you wanna head to the Renewed Vision site to download the, the most uh, recent and updated version of this. But I have ProPresenter open and we're gonna use the ProPresenter MIDI module that's gonna allow us to send MIDI out of ProPresenter to our PTZ Optics camera. So next, I have my PTZ Optics camera with the latest firmware installed in order to get the latest firmware, and this is really simple to set up, head to ptzoptics.com. They've got great walkthroughs and uh, uh, tutorials to show you how to do that. This took me less than three minutes to update to get the most uh, latest firmware. Now next, let's talk about how we're connecting ProPresenter to our PTZ Optics camera. First thing I did, on my Mac Mini that's running uh, ProPresenter, I have an Ethernet cable that's going from my computer into a network switch. And then next, I took an Ethernet cable from my PTZ Optics camera into a network switch so that both of these are on the same network. Now this opens up lots of possibilities, again, particularly in a house of worship scenario, where you could have someone that has ProPresenter on a computer, maybe a laptop in a different room, a, a video suite somewhere, and your camera is in the main auditorium, the main room, and you can control that over a network so you don't have to be anywhere close or anywhere in near proximity to your camera to do this control, which is really great, uh, which again, makes this just an amazing, amazing feature. So let's talk about how we get access to this. So what I'm gonna do, uh, is I'm gonna open Chrome. Now, in order to get access to the web UI to send MIDI from uh, ProPresenter to our camera, we have to open either Chrome or an Edge browser. In my case, I'm on a Mac, I'm going to use Chrome. So I've got Chrome open, I need to access my camera uh, via its IP address, and I need to do this through a secure connection. So I'm gonna type HTTPS, and then I'm gonna type my camera's IP address. Okay, and it's gonna take me to this screen. Now, don't worry if you see this screen. If you're on edge, this may look a little different. Um, but this screen is telling my connection's not private. Uh, I'm trying to access through a secure connection uh, and it's saying there's no SSL certificate installed. If you know what that means, if this matters to you, you can actually install an SSL certificate directly on your PTZ Optics camera. In order to learn how to do that though, make sure you head to ptzoptics.com. For me, this is really simple. This does not bother me, so I'm gonna click Advanced. And this is, again, gonna be a little different based on your machine, your OS, your, your browser, but I'm gonna click Advanced and I'm gonna to click to proceed to the IP address. So next I need to enter my password. So I'm gonna do that now. So let's enter my password for my camera and that's gonna take us to the web UI for our camera. So as this loads, um, here's our web UI. There we go, there I am. I'm gonna actually click MIDI control because this is where we're gonna be spending most of our time. And this is the page that's gonna convert our MIDI commands from ProPresenter uh, to our PTZ Optics camera. Now, how is this web browser going to receive MIDI commands. That's where something called a virtual MIDI bus is gonna come into play. If I'm on a Mac, I'm gonna use the IEC driver. I'll show you how to set that up in just a moment. If you're on a PC, you could use virtual MIDI, you could use Loop BE1. I've got a, a link below this video showing you how to set up Loop BE1 if you're on a Windows PC. What we're gonna do now is set up a virtual MIDI driver. Uh, if you've already done this, then skip this section, move on to the next section. If you're on a Windows PC, pause this video, go set up Loop BE1 based on my video, um, and then come back. The way 
way the virtual uh, MIDI driver is going to work, it's essentially think of it as like a virtual MIDI cable. We're going to plug a MIDI cable out of ProPresenter into our Chrome browser, and then the Chrome browser is going to send our MIDI commands out on the network. So now let's set up the IEC driver on our Mac. I'm going to go to Spotlight, which is Command Comma, and I'm going to type Audio MIDI Setup, okay? It's going to take me here. Next, I want you to go up to the menu bar to where it says Window, and we're gonna click Show MIDI Studio. Then we're gonna double click to see our IEC driver here, and we're gonna click Device is Online. Now we're gonna make sure we have at least one port, one bus available to the IEC driver. If you don't see bus one show up here, click that plus icon to add a bus, and then hit Apply. Okay, with that, we have set up the IEC driver on our Mac. Hopefully you've set up the virtual MIDI bus on your computer. Next, let's pick back up and let's see how we're gonna get MIDI from ProPresenter to our IEC driver or virtual MIDI bus into our Chrome browser. So I'm gonna go over to ProPresenter. Again, I'm using ProPresenter 7. In previous versions of ProPresenter, you have to use something that's called the MIDI module. With ProPresenter 7, this is included for free. Okay, so we're gonna do Command Comma, and then we wanna go over to the devices menu and we wanna press this plus icon. Uh, once we see our dropdown, let's choose MIDI. And then we wanna set up and configure our MIDI preferences in ProPresenter. This is pretty simple because we're just simply looking to send MIDI from ProPresenter to the IEC driver in our case. So we're gonna enable auto reconnect. Under hardware, we're gonna select core MIDI device. And then under behavior, uh, we're gonna click device. It's gonna take a second potentially for the screen to populate. Then we have sources and destinations. So essentially the best way to think about this is inputs and outputs. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're only sending MIDI from ProPresenter um, uh, to uh, our IEC driver, which is then gonna go to our PTZ Optics camera. So I'm not gonna deal with sources, I'm only gonna deal with destinations. So for destinations here, I'm looking for bus one, which again is uh, what I've named in the previous version, uh, our previous window. So now we're gonna hit back. Super important, I've missed this feature many a time. I've been in many uh, ProPresenter tutorials and webinars showing people how to set this up and I forget this feature. I wanna hit connect. And then once you see this green arrow, then you know that you're set up and you're connected, okay? So ProPresenter set up, let's go back to Chrome here and we need to tell our Chrome browser, hey, this is where I want you to receive MIDI from. Now, if you've set up your uh, IEC driver virtual MIDI bus uh, since you opened this window, then make sure you refresh this page. So I'm gonna uh, refresh the page. Under select MIDI controller, I'm gonna go to the MIDI controller option here. And in this case, I'm gonna choose IEC driver bus one, and I wanna click set MIDI controller. So with that set up, now what I've essentially done is I've established this virtual cable path where I'm saying, ProPresenter's MIDI is gonna to go to the IEC driver. Out of the IEC driver, that's gonna to go to our Chrome browser. Out of our Chrome browser, that's gonna to go to my PTZ Optics camera. So let's dive in. Let's talk about how we can make this happen. We're, we're really getting to the fun bit of this now. So first thing, I wanna enable MIDI commands, which means I'm able to actually send MIDI commands to my PTZ Optics camera. And then what I would encourage you to do is go down here and click Display Command Mapping. This is gonna show you all the default mappings uh, and controls available for your camera. So what you could see the way this functions is it says call preset one or, or recall preset one, pull up preset one on your camera. In order to do that, you're gonna send a note on message and you're gonna send it using MIDI note one, okay? So looking at these defaults, I think this is the best place to start. Unless you're someone who really likes to customize things, we'll talk about that in a second, so bear with me. Just use the defaults the way they are out of the box. Again, as a reminder, based on when you're watching this video, this, this list may be changed, it may be slightly updated, um, but this is, uh, this is, I think, the best place to get started. So let's talk about how to make this happen in ProPresenter. So I want to call up preset one on my camera. How do I do this in ProPresenter? So I'm gonna go back to ProPresenter, and let's say we want to, on uh, the chorus slide here, to call up preset one. So I'm gonna right click on slide 10. I wanna to go to add action. And the type of action we wanna add is a communication action here. And you see we set up MIDI previously, so we're gonna do MIDI. What type of MIDI command are we looking for? A MIDI note on message, so I'm gonna choose that. ProPresenter makes this super simple, okay? So we're saying devices MIDI, command is MIDI note on. Channel one, we can leave that set there. Note, we're gonna just set this to note one and our velocity or ProPresenter calls it intensity doesn't matter in this case, so we're just gonna leave this the way it is. So now let's bring up our camera, let's bring up this view to where you can see me, 
plus C Pro Presenter. Let's trigger uh, slide 10, which is our course, which we've added in that little command. You can see this icon to say, that's gonna say send preset one command. Let's trigger it and you see our camera, it's subtle, but you saw our camera kind of slightly move to get into place. Now let's say, let's make slide, um, in this case, let's make slide 11 preset two, okay? So we'll go back into Pro Presenter. let's right click, let's do add action, communication, MIDI, MIDI note on, uh, let's do note two. Okay, preset two. So let's go back to our commands here because I don't remember this from uh, top of my head. Call preset two is MIDI note four, okay? Again, super simple. Uh, now let's edit our action. We want this to be note four, okay? So now let's bring up our camera again so you can see this. Here goes preset two, all right? A little more drastic. Um, let's do preset three while we're at it. Why not? Just so we get a hang of this. So we're gonna right click, oh, before we do that, preset three is MIDI note seven. And see how simple and easy this is to set up. And what I really like about this, particularly in working with volunteers and people that may not be spending a lot of time during the week figuring this out and looking through it, uh, is to them, they don't know exactly what's happening. It's just they're clicking a slide and the magic is happening now. Okay, so let's uh, click slide 12 here and that's gonna do preset three. Again, all pretty subtle, but there's preset one, there's preset two, and then finally preset three, which is great. So this is super, super easy to add these commands to our slides, uh, to create mini commands in ProPresenter, uh, to trigger them based on whatever slide we have. But we can actually uh, customize this. So let's say you're in a scenario where you're maybe using one of these MIDI notes to, to do something else and you're not exactly sure um, uh, how it's gonna interact and you say, okay, I wanna make sure instead of using this note, instead of one for preset one, I wanna use a different note. How can we really quickly customize what our PTZ Optics camera is expecting from ProPresenter? Let me show you how easy it is to do that. So I'm gonna go back to our web UI here uh, and let's show you just the UI. And I wanna show you how easy it is uh, to customize this. So I can go to preset one and let's change this instead of being note one, let's have it be note 127. Okay, so I'm gonna click 127. I'm gonna click this button here that says map PTZ optics commands to MIDI 127. Now let's go back to ProPresenter. Let's edit our command here, edit action. What are we looking for? 127, we'll scroll all the way down here, 127, okay. And uh, let's trigger, just for the sake of this to show you, let's trigger uh, preset two, preset three. Now that we've changed this though, let's trigger preset one. And you'll see even changing that to note 128, we completely changed our preset. Now this is great if we happen to know what note we're sending. But again, let's say we're in a Sunday morning crunch time scenario. And uh, during the week, I as a, a, a staff member, set up a MIDI command, and I'm not sure exactly what MIDI command I set up, but I keep telling my volunteers, hey, I want you to trigger preset one, and preset one just is not triggering. So let me actually show you this. Here's preset two, here's preset three. Let's go to preset one, it's not triggering. And the reason it's not triggering is it's sending a MIDI note and the PTZ Optics web UI is not receiving it because I'm sending the wrong MIDI note. So let's go to our web UI here. And I wanna figure out what MIDI note I'm sending. So this is really, really simple with this interface. I'm gonna to click to display MIDI commands in the browser, and then I'm gonna click that note, okay, and I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna see my last MIDI event was a note on message. My last MIDI command press was uh, the 118. So this is really simple. Call preset one, note on. We're gonna scroll and go to 118. And then we're gonna do map PTZ optics commands to MIDI. And now let's go back to Pro Presenter. Okay, let's do, just to change it up, there's preset three, here's preset two, now let's do preset one, and you can see our camera followed along. So even if you wanna customize this and take this a step further to fit your specific setup, you can see it's really easy to do that, to, to again, make sure that there's no uh, interference with any other uh, MIDI things that you have going on. Um, it's super simple to do this. Now, let's wrap up and talk about a couple of Pro Presenter best practices uh, that I think are, are going to uh, make this easy for you to use and then show you something I kind of figured out in my testing that you may want to implement. So as you saw in my setup, I am adding um, uh, MIDI notes to specific slides, right? And so I'm adding these actions and adding them to slides. This is nice, but every time I want to do this, I have to right click, I have to add action, I have to go to 
uh, communication, I have to do MIDI, and I have to basically figure out, okay, what is that MIDI note? Look at the web UI. This isn't really easy for a volunteer to follow, again, in the heat of a moment during a service um, uh, to, to figure out what is that exact MIDI note I need. But ProPresenter has a really cool feature called macros that makes this even easier. And let's talk about how to set up macros that will send MIDI to our PTZ Optics camera and then access those macros specifically from a slide. So it's a similar process, but I'm gonna go over here and I wanna go to my, I believe it's called the action palette. And I wanna go to the macro section here and I'm gonna press this plus icon, okay? So you can see I've got a few things already set up here. We'll talk about these in just a moment, but I'm gonna press this plus icon and we're gonna call this call preset one, okay? And then I wanna go to this macro and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna do add action we're gonna do the same thing we did as if we were on a slide. We'll do MIDI, MIDI note on. Now, I know that call preset one is MIDI note one. I changed this back while I was talking. Uh, so I'm gonna set this up, okay? So now let's say, let's remove this action. Let's say I wanna add preset one to my chorus slide. So the communication to me, maybe on stage to a volunteer in the booth is, hey, can you make sure on chorus, I forgot to do this, I'm so sorry. Can you make sure the chorus slide, we're, we're going to preset one on our camera? And they go, yeah, super, super easy. Here's how they would do that. They'd go to their chorus slide, right click. They would add action. This time, instead of adding a MIDI action, they're gonna go to macro. And then here's their list of macros, call preset one. They can select preset one. And this time again, let's bring up our camera. Let's go to preset three, preset two, you know the drill. This time I'm gonna to go to preset one and it's gonna send that MIDI command, but I didn't have to know what that MIDI command was, that exact MIDI note was. I created it as a macro and then I called that macro from a slide. So here's what I would encourage you to do. And then let me give you a little bonus tip to wrap up the video. I would encourage you to set up macros in ProPresenter for your uh, calling your presets, all five presets, uh, for setting your presets so you could save presets. And then again, use uh, the, the ability to call up actions and add actions to slides, go to macros, and then you're just looking at what presets are as opposed to uh, MIDI commands. I think it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. Here's a step further though. Again, I wanna wrap up the video with this. Um, this may work for you, it may not, but you could get full control of your camera directly from ProPresenter, and here's how. Let me show you how I did this. So I'm gonna take you back to uh, our setup here. You'll see I have these commands for tilt up, tilt down, tilt stop, zoom in, zoom out, zoom stop, pan left, pan right, and pan stop. Essentially what I've set up is I've set up these drive commands that are available on my camera directly in ProPresenter. So let's show you uh, our camera and let's open up ProPresenter. And let's say we wanna zoom out here. I'm gonna click zoom out and then when I'm ready to stop, we'll hit stop. That was pretty easy because it stopped pretty quick. Let's zoom in and when I'm ready to stop, we'll stop there. Um, Let's pan to the left, so I'm gonna click that, and let's stop. Let's pan to the right, when I'm ready to stop, we'll click stop. Uh, let's zoom out a little more, I don't, I don't like how zoomed in that is now that I'm looking at it, so let's zoom out, we'll press stop. Uh, and then let's pan, let's see, what direction do we wanna go here? Let's go to the left and stop. Great, okay? So I have set up macros for each of those drive commands. So again, I can essentially control my PTZ Optics camera. You could, uh, during a service, or hopefully not during a service, during a rehearsal, look at your camera and go, hmm, I actually need to adjust that. Instead of uh, your volunteer having to go somewhere else, they can literally continue to run slides in ProPresenter. They could access this macros control here directly from ProPresenter to control your camera. All you have to do, again, really dead simple, is follow the suggestions here. So let's see how I set this up. Drive, zoom in. I'm looking for note on MIDI note 55. So uh, drive, zoom in. Let's go up here to zoom in. And if we look at this edit action, you'll see that's note 55. Uh, drive, zoom out is note 56. So if we do this, we'll edit it. We're looking for MIDI note on 56. And then we have to have a way to stop this. The way macros currently work is uh, once I press it, it's just gonna send note on. So I need a note off message to stop this. So zoom stop, if you see this, MIDI note off is just set to MIDI no, note off. And I picked the first command here, uh, MIDI command 55. So same thing with pan, pan left, let's just show you one more of these, is 53, pan right should be 54. Yep, there's 54, and then pan stop is gonna be a note off. And I probably say, yep, selected 53. 
So that's a look at using ProPresenter to directly control your PTZ Optics camera using MIDI. Again, for more information to download the latest firmware and to see the newest updates to this as well as future products, head to ptzoptics.com. And finally, I wanna thank Paul and the rest of the team at PTZ Optics for creating features that allow houses of worship, volunteers everywhere, to stay focused on serving their congregation, on serving their people and less time focused on the tech. These are incredible features. I hope they keep them coming. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye.